It's the backbone of Senegal's economy, one of the strongest economies in Africa. The largest foreign exchange earner, it accounts for 25% of the country's exports and employs hundreds of thousands of people. But now Senegal's fishing industry is under threat from a tidal wave of economic woes coming in from these shores. Most of this fish, like this red snapper, would normally be heading to the fine restaurants and homes of the European Union. But the economic slowdown has led to a massive drop in the country's exports, which in turn has left thousands of Senegalese fishermen unemployed. Like Serene Soiree, he lost his job after a drop in fish orders from overseas. He and others who've been laid off spend their days trying to make ends meet by helping people carry shopping back to their cars. It is embarrassing as the head of the family that when I wake up in the morning, I see things that I should be doing for my family, but I'm not able to do them because of the lack of job and money. It's even more painful when the children approach you and say, Dad, we want food, but you cannot provide it. Tons of exotic and expensive Senegalese seafood is being left to rot as Europeans stop buying. Falling demand means producers are being forced to cut their prices to survive. But some of these varieties of fish are still too expensive for most Senegalese. <laughs> Ahmed Silla has built his business exporting fish to the European Union. He's had to lay off 90% of his staff. But now he thinks he's found a solution. He's cut his prices to boost domestic sales. And now he's exporting to other African countries. Before the crisis, we used to export to Europe, countries like Spain, Greece, Italy. They were the biggest importer of Senegalese fish. They used to order three times a week. Now it's only once a week. So we're trying to do business with countries like Ghana and Ivory Coast. The question facing Senegal's fishing industry is being asked in dozens of industries across Africa that rely on exports to the West. What do you do when the West is no longer buying your goods? As the African Development Bank and the continent's finance ministers meet this week in Senegal to discuss this very question, they're being forced not to look to the West for financial handouts or aid, as some of them are so used to doing, but to other African economies for solutions. Yvonne Dege, Al Jazeera, Dakar, Senegal.